cat it's maximus here just a quick video about a set of lyman's pliers from yesterday year seven inch diamond usa it's originally from the diamond cock and hulk and horseshoe company uh more than a century ago and now the brand's no longer around but this is one of the last set of the american made diamond linesman's pliers as we can see by the laser etching the sl58-1p's once again seven inch and they are pretty nice Although not perfect, as we can see when they're grinding on the jaws here, they didn't have this quiet. This was done by hand, so somebody just had, when they did the little sanding for this notch, they just had it tilted a little bit too much. But besides that, they're proper. They have this corrugation. Those are, that's ostensibly, so when you're using wire pulling tape, fish tape, that you'd use lineman's pliers and you could grab onto the fish tape like that. Then you could use both hands to yank on it. So that, some people use them as crimpers, but these aren't really designed as crimpers. I do like that it's deep with pretty uh, stout teeth. If we look at, say, the Harbor Freight Quinns, it has the same thing, but the teeth are just a little bit too fine. And uh, the Kleins don't include that by default, and I was always a little disappointed that Klein did that. They are proper. One thing I should mention about linesman's pliers is don't use these in a vise, and it's tempting because if you have, I've, and the reason I mention it is I've long time ago had plenty of friends installing car stereos, those huge four gauge and two gauge wire connectors. They never, you know, nobody had crimpers for that. So you either use a hammer, a vise, I had a friend use a pair of linesman's pliers and it actually broke out around the hinge pin. Of course, any good set of pliers, this is going to be a hot rivet. And as it cools down, it makes sure that they're really nice and tight. But, as we can see, it's actually pretty thin here. So if you put them in the vise, you're pressing here. It's levered, or it can't move over here. And so you're pressing down the handle. And it will cause this portion to actually break out. And I've seen that happen before. Linesman's pliers are very heavy-duty pliers. But it's more for wire. These are electrician's pliers. And it's for wire tw twisting wire and doing other things but mainly with hand force. And so you do want to be aware of that. And it's actually pretty surprising. You know, if we do otherwise, if we compare good proper ones, such as these Kleins and these diamonds, you can see that there is a gap. It does two things. It really makes sure that these cutting jaws come together fully and uh, give you a nice clean cut. But the little gap is so that when you're twisting solid core wire, common in construction, you can put the wires in there. And then as you twist, these don't quite come together fully, so you're less likely to actually crush the wire. And that's why they have a gap. And what's surprising is that is often missed, such as these 8-inch quins. You can see they don't have a proper gap. And oddly, these, these are some Japanese fullers here. And I guess they're okay because they actually are parallel when you open them up to be about the width of two 14-gauge wires. They still kind of come to a point there, so I guess that's debatable. What isn't debatable is why, say on these fullers, you might say, well, that hinge is much stronger because it has this huge cross section of steel where on all these others, even the uh, cheese ball quins, maybe I could point it this way, they actually have a decent cross section there, but it's still pretty tight. As you can see, the quins are a half moon versus the hexagonal shape. The reason that there is the hexagonal shape is it's just a little bit more space, a little bit more clearance, so the wire doesn't get want to get pinched quite as easily in the jaw. It's unfortunate Quinn just did a little round or half moon circle. Anyway, it's all about leverage. So both of these are seven inch sets. And this, surprisingly enough, this quarter inch of difference, that means that the inner cutting edge of the nippers are just a little bit further away from the fulcrum than they are, on, say, on these diamonds. And you'd be surprised on how much of a difference that makes. And that's just the one point I did want to mention is that it's actually pretty distinctive. You can have pliers that are pretty darn nice like these fullers. Uh, this everything's pretty much done properly, Japanese made. Um, really heavy duty a center section like these you could put into a vise just because there's so much material there. But an actual day-to-day -day work, I mean, they even got this jaw gap that actually were pretty forward thinking. And day-to-day -day work, this wears you out faster because you get more leverage. So if we take something like a fairly significant chunk of copper here, I'll do it on this side, but I was 
put that all in the back of the jaw and I'm going to use two hands just <clears throat> that's like all my force on the fullers with two hands and I got most of the way th not really I mean that was everything I had so now still these are a seven inch pair now these diamonds may have I mean I don't know about the how much better the steel may be but I certainly know that now you can see how close this is getting to the hinge pin versus how the fuller which is a significant distance away and surprisingly enough that little bit of leverage we'll just do the same activity on the same piece of copper here and I can almost cut through that, I bet. So I was just able to cut through this piece of copper with 7-inch pair of pliers where a different 7-inch set of pliers, which had a fulcrum only a quarter inch further away, made all the difference. It's really surprising. So it just makes really nice lineman's pliers that have really tight tolerances there makes all the difference. That's one of the things that people, not just quality steel, but small attentions to detail, that gives people fond memory of good quality old tools because, wow, it's just always so easy to cut with these because to equivalent these fullers, I need to have this chunk of metal like way up here, which you're not, you know, cutting with all the time with a heavy piece of metal. But in any given circumstance, you're just going to have a little bit more leverage. You're going to be putting a little bit less force in. Plus, really extra wide handles on these. Anyway, that was enough of my lineman's plier and blab video. Uh, I haven't had a blab video about pliers in a while, so this is it. And I really wanted to say thanks for uh, 25,000 subscribers. Uh, I've been trying to get a couple videos ahead, so I wanted to really appreciate that. And I will uh, try to come up with like some type of Q&A or something, or maybe a little cat montage. I'll try to figure out something, but I wanted to say I really do appreciate uh, that been like three and a half or four years and so uh i'm pretty happy anyway if you haven't subscribed please do until next time caddis maximus out